Welcome back to Broken Bones Barbecue. My name is Albert and today we're gonna to be smoking up some delicious beef short ribs today on the pit. And uh, I'm gonna do these two different ways. I have uh, two racks that came in the package. I'm gonna do one dry and one wet. And the wet one, I got a secret recipe. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I got it from Harry Chu from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue. Uh, he's won numerous uh, competitions. And he's one of the uh, uh, ones that came out on the episodes of uh, Barbecue Pitmaster. And so I saw him do this, so I'm gonna try to imitate it today. Uh, the only thing that I don't have is his personal rub, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a different rub that I got. It's uh, Texas beef from Three Little Pigs. And that one, we're gonna do a wet one. And then I'm gonna do my dry rub, the one that I've done, the salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And we're gonna leave that one dry and we're gonna see how that one comes out. I got some butcher paper and uh, I'm gonna be uh, wrapping those dry ribs in butcher paper to try to protect the bark. So we're gonna do a little comparison and see which one is uh, better. Let's see uh, if the one that is uh, the wet rib that has everything in it or the dry rib that has the bark and that's been wrapped in uh, butcher paper. So I'm gonna be wrapping the wet rib in aluminum foil and then the dry rib in butcher paper. So and so here are ribs. As you can see, uh, they kind of have some of the bones showing through. On this one, I just did my salt, pepper, garlic, and onion seasoning. And then uh, I had to actually cut one of the ribs off because it just uh, looked bad. And then over here is the better rack. This is the one I used with the Texas beef rib rub. And uh, we're going to wrap this one and do it wet. And then this one, we're going to keep it dry. I'm probably going to touch it up a little bit, add some more uh, of the seasoning the salt pepper and, and garlic and then of course i use the wishes sauce sauce as a uh, binder to bind the rubs on so i'm gonna go ahead and uh take a break and i'm gonna put the meat on we're running uh the same pit that we've used in the other videos the little box cooker and we're gonna be running about 300 today so guys you guys hang around and okay welcome back to broken bones barbecue we're gonna go ahead and uh, check our beef ribs and see how they're going and uh you see we're about an hour and a half into this cook. Oh yeah, we got some good pullback already on the wet ribs and on the dry ribs. It's the bark's looking nice and pretty. That's what I want to see. And then the wet one is still nice and moist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spritz these down real quick. I have a half and half. Just a little bit, not a, not a whole lot of uh, apple juice and Coca-Cola. We're just gonna give those a little spritz. And those wet ribs are looking really delicious. The meat's already beginning to pull back from the bone. And I probably will be wrapping them in about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it back in, check the fire. I have a piece of pecan wood that I added in there. A little bit ago that provides the, the smoky flavor and our fire is still nice and hot so i'm not worried too much about adding more wood right now uh maybe in about 30 minutes i'll give it a, a little bit more wood and welcome back to broken bones barbecue it's time to wrap our wet ribs i want you to take a look at these real quick before i wrap them up put them to rest see that has that wetness on top and that's because of that that rub that I used on there is drying out the moisture of those ribs. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the trick that I learned from KCBS world champion, Harry Sue. And uh, the reason why I like this guy, cause he's Asian. A Asian, Asian. And I don't know if he's Chinese, Filipino, whatever. But he knows how to barbecue. He, actually, I think he's from California. And uh, he's one, the KCBS, like I said, been on barbecue pit masters. And I had never seen somebody put brown sugar and coke and butter on beef ribs. Harry Shu did it and he won the KCBS event that he had participated in. So there's a lot of drawback on these bones. And so that's what I want to see on my beef short ribs. These, these look delicious. I can't wait to eat them. I wish I could just bite into them right now, but they're not done. We got to break down um, all that muscle inside and get it super soft and so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to add some melted unsalted butter on top of it and then i'm going to pour some coca-cola on there and 
then some brown sugar. Some more butter. More coke. More brown sugar. What this liquid is going to do is it's going to braise these ribs and they're going to cook down a lot faster. I'm going to finish it with the butter that's in here. And then on top, I just want to hit it with a dash of Worcestershire sauce. This Harry Shoe didn't do that, but I'm going to do it for the beef flavor. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of our seasoning right there on top. Okay. Well, I'm going to wrap up these ribs, put them to bed. When you wrap them up, you want to make sure that your juices stay in. And you don't want to make sure you don't puncture your aluminum foil either with the bone that is exposed. This is a heavy duty aluminum foil from HEB, Texas Tough Barbecue Edition. You want to make sure that it's nice and tight. So put them back on the pit. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on the pit. I'm going to get my other ribs off and check the crust. And then if it's time to wrap them in butcher paper, we're going to wrap them in butcher paper. So Okay, welcome back to Broken Bones Barbecue. These are our beef ribs that we're going to leave dry. And you can see the crust. That's what I want to see. And so there's been enough smoke in these. I'm going to wrap these up in butcher paper. I'm not going to put anything on them. I'm just going to leave them like that because I want to protect that crust that I worked so hard to get and uh, that you're going to work so hard to get. Hopefully you're going to do this at your house and invite me over for dinner. And um, so I'm going to leave it like that so you can see the pullback on the ribs, the bone, and there you go. So when you wrap these, you just want to center them up, fold it over, and you fold it. Fold in the sides. You got a perfectly wrapped rib. There's no more smoke going to come in here. And uh, it'll protect that bark while it finishes cooking inside there. And then uh, this is the one that I had to cut off. I just want to take a look at it. I know that it might not be done. It might not still be hard, but I just want to taste it. It's a good bark. That's what I'm aiming for, to keep it. Just like that. It has a good smoke ring on it. But it still needs a little bit more time. It's kind of tough a little bit up here. But other than that, that's a perfect looking rib right there. Look at that smoking. Okay guys, I'm going to let these probably go for about another hour and a half, maybe two hours. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and take them off, let them rest, cut into them. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button. Smash that like button. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. All right guys, God bless you. Okay, welcome back to Broken Bones Barbecue. These are our beef ribs. I've uh, checked them. It's 430. They're at temperature. They are running about 205. And let me see if I can get a good picture here. Like butter. These have been inside. 196, 97. One ninety five, one ninety six. Like I said, they've already been inside for about a couple minutes. One ninety three, one ninety four, ninety five, ninety six. One eighty seven. One eighty nine. 
So uh, our ribs are done. I'm just gonna let them rest now. And I'll be back probably in about an hour and a half to cut them up. These are our wet ribs. And we're also gonna be saucing these. It's barbecue and uh, these are our finished products. These are our ribs. And uh, what I'm, we're gonna do, this is our wet one. So we've gone ahead and put some barbecue sauce on there. Make them nice and pretty. And these are our dry ones. And so just wanna show you guys the bark, the crust. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them open and see how that smoke ring came out. So when you cut your ribs, you want to cut them right down the center. So that's our dry rib. We've got a pretty smoke line. There's some juices in there. I just want to try it out. Check it out, and I'm gonna take a bite off of the top here. It has a real pretty smoke ring all the way across. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out, see how it came out. It has really good flavor. The only thing is, uh, thank you. That I would like it to be a little bit more moister. And so that was the experiment with the with the dry rub. So now moving over here to the to the wet rub, to the wet rib. I'm gonna cut it out here in the middle. You have a nice smoke ring all the way through and this one you can see the juice is a little bit better. I'm just oozing out. This one was wrapped. This is the one that we put the brown sugar and the cola and the butter on. So I'm gonna take a bite out of the top right here and see how it came out. Came out really good. Um, you could taste the barbecue sauce on it. And it had, like I said, a, a real pretty smoke ring. They're juicy. And that's what we want. So we're gonna see which one we're gonna cook for this coming Saturday at the cook off. And uh, so you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching this episode of Broken Bones Barbecue. And remember